Hello class, it's Mrs. Lawson. Welcome to our online math class today. Today we're going to be looking at adding 10 to a number. Now I know that you're going to do a great job. We're going to look at our 100s chart and we're going to look at pennies and dimes and we're also going to be looking on the board as well. Join me as we look at adding 10 to a number. We're going to start off by looking at our 100s chart. It is the perfect place to start learning how to add 10 to a number. Now we've done this before. We find a number on the board and we figure out what the next one underneath of it would be because that would be plus 10. Let's take a look. Here I have the number 14. We know that 10 less than 14 is 4. What would 10 more than 14 be? Or 14 plus 10? You're right. It would be 24. 24 is 10 plus 14. What about here at 33? We know that if we look to see what 10 less than 33 would be, it would be 23. But what about 10 more than 33? 33 plus 10 would be, do you remember? 43. Good job. Here we have the number 46. Now 10 less than 46 is 36. What would 10 more than 46 be? You're right, it would be 56. 46 plus 10 is 56. Well, what about 28? We know that 10 less than 28 is 18. But what would 10 more than 28 be? You're right, it would be 38. Excellent job. Did you remember that there's a pattern when we count by 10? No matter what number we start with. If we started with 4, all of the ones place numbers, all the way down would be 4. And then our tens place numbers follow a pattern. In 4, there isn't a number in the tens place. But the next one is a one, and then a two, and then a three, and then a four, and then a five, all the way down our number chart. There's a pattern. And that will help us so much when we are adding 10, we're subtracting 10 from a number. Let's take a look at the whiteboard just for a minute to make sure we understand. Class, we're gonna start with the number 23. And then we're going to add 10 to that number. 23 plus 10. Hmm. When we add, the first thing that we do is we add our numbers that are in the ones place. So that is the number 3 and the number 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. Then we're going to look at the numbers in our tens place. We have 2 and 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Did you already know that? I bet you that you did. 23 and 33. Do you see that they both end with the number 3? Just like in our 100s chart. In our 100s chart, every number in the column ended with the same number. And then if you remember, in our tens place, the numbers followed a pattern. They counted up or down, depending if we were adding or subtracting. Here we have 23. Instead of a 2 in the tens place, we ended with a 3 in the tens place because it was following the pattern. Let's try another one. Instead of 23, this time we're going to try 47. 47 plus 10. Let's start with our ones place. We have a 7 and a 0. Well, that's easy. 7 plus 0 is 7. Anytime that you add 0 to a number, 
is not going to change the answer. Now we're going to look in our tens place. We have a 4 and a 1. Well, you know what 4 plus 1 is. It's 5. 47 plus 10 is 57. 80. 1. 81 plus 10. Hmm. You know 1 plus 0. It's 1. Now let's look at the numbers in our tens place. We have an 8 and a 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So 81 plus 10 is 91. And that follows our pattern as well. 9 is 1 greater than 8. And our ones place stays the same, just like in our hundreds chart. Hmm. I wonder what this would look like if we used coins. In this question, we have 22 cents plus 10 cents. And I put 22 cents over here plus our 10 cents. So in our tens place, we have two dimes for 10, 20. And in our ones place, we have two pennies, one, two. 10, 20, 21, 22. 22 cents plus 10 more cents. Well, if we were adding these up with our coins, we would say 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. We would have 32 cents. Hmm, let's try it over here. 22 plus 10, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 32 cents. They're both the same. Here we have 44 plus 10. Let's look at our coins. In our tens place, we have our dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Here we have 44 cents. And down here, we're going to add 10 cents to it. Let's count it, starting with our dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54. We have 54 cents. Let's try it here in our addition problem. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. I made sure that I had my places lined up. The 4 and the 0 are both in the 1's place. And the 4 and the 1 are both in the tens place. 54 cents. When we add 10 cents to 44 cents, we end up with 54 cents. Good job. Here we're adding 65 plus 10. We have six dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. And we're going to be adding 10 cents to 65. Let's try counting. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. 65 plus 10 is 75. Let's try that here with our addition problem. We're going to start in the ones place. Six, not six. That's in our tens place. We're going to start with the five. Five plus zero is five. And six plus one is 70. 75 cents. I think you should practice today. Maybe practice with some coins using your dimes for your tens place and your pennies for your ones place. And you keep adding dimes. Keep adding 10 to your number. Maybe you could have a little store. That would be a wonderful way to practice. Class, you did a wonderful job adding 10. I know that you are going to do well with this today. So happy practicing, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye, class.